Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Flip Dover, the next gen intersection piston cup racer number 00 from Cars 3. Now before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let's start with the unboxing. Here we've got his artwork for Cars 3. The red background, the red and blue background, I meant to say, the old Cars logo, his die cast sealed in, his name titling Flip Dover, the metal logo, the Mattel logo, and on the back we have Paul Conrev, Barry DePetal, George Newen, Jambalia Chimachenga, who I unfortunately don't have, Strip the King Weathers, Murray Clutchburn and Jackson Storm, the metal logo, red background, as seen in, the Cars 3 logo, 2021 Mattel, made in Thailand, the Mattel logo, empowering the next generation through play, Disney slash Pixar, Plymouth Superbird, Petty, www.disney.com slash cars the RSN logo saying RSN Racing Sports Network and that is it and now without any further ado let, let's start with the unboxing I'll be right back after this has been unboxed so here we have Flip Dover all opened up and out of the package so Flip Dover is a next-gen Piston Cup racer who currently bears the number double zero for the Intersection team. His name also implies as in flip, flipped over as a pun. Get it? Anyhow, during his appearance in Cars 3, during the 2016 Piston Cup season, before the bumper saved Gears and Glory 450 of that year at Heartland Motor Speedway, he replaced the previous intersection racer, Jimmy Cables, a car that shares the same body mold as Brick Yardley, and I unfortunately don't have, and would go on to participate in the Florida 500 of the 2017 Piston Cup season at the Florida International Super Speedway and was one of the racers to finish the race. He was then seen again in a photograph during the end credits along with Danny Suarez who were pulling a prank on Cruz Ramirez. And I thought it was funny for me and some other fellow Cars fans. Wasn't it funny to you? Tell me what you think in the comments down below. So anyhow, during his diecast releases, his first release was in 2017 in the rare next legendary rare next gen racers four pack in a Target exclusive for Target, along with Steve Slick LePage, Barry DePetal, and JD McFiller a car who shares the same body mold as Ryan Inside Laney, and I unfortunately don't have, and was re-released again for 2022 as a single, which I believe it was lucky for us fellow Cars fans. And I also got flipped over off of eBay along with Racing Center Cruiser Ramirez, who I will record her tomorrow. So anyhow, Without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we've got his worried facial expression, his working headlights and black grill, magenta paint, exterior paintwork, and on the top we got a bit of, we got a white borderline heart with a white intersection at the bottom and a bit of two white cars 
and on both sides we've got the blackish gray rims on the black wall next gen light year racing tires a bit of white at the bottom the exhaust pipes the gas cap the next gen intersection logo a white double zero and a bit of pink on the enamel and and a few contingency logos saying Pistic Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. And on the top, we have No Name Signature, a bit of white, and a white double zero. And on the trunk, I mean the spoiler, we have, a, we have white background and the intersection logo. And on the back side we've got the red tail light red work working red tail lights and the white and magenta on the back and a heart in the middle indicating presenting the intersection logo and the white double zero and the the intersection logo and the orange rookie stripes implying that he's a rookie and on the undercarriage, it says Mattel, Disney slash Pixar, made in Thailand. And that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other next-gen racers that share his body mold. We have Barry DePetal, Steve Slick LePage, Conrad Camber, Eric Breaker, Richie guns it. Paul Conrad. Cam Spinner. Kurt. JP Drive. Michael Rodor. George Newin, Herb Kerbler, and last but not least, Danny Suarez. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which next gen racer sharing his body mold is your favorite? And are you lucky that Flip Dover here has got a re-release as a regular diecast. Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye now!